This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. If you're interested in learning web development, iOS, or UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design and development boot camp intended to get you a full time position in the industry. To learn more, visit devmountain.com or click the link in the description below. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the age old dilemma of how to learn how to code and how to become a developer. You basically have three options, or at least three major options, and that's college, boot camp, and self taught. And there's no one that says you can't do more than one. I'm sure a lot of people that go to college and, and go to boot camps are also self taught. But I want to just take a look at some of the benefits and drawbacks of all three of these. And please take this video with a grain of salt. If you're actually trying to make this decision, you want to look at many different resources never just take one video or one article into account all right so let's start with uh, college benefits so college is very structured there's a clear curriculum some people they don't have the ability to create their own learning structure um, or they just don't want to so college is great for people that want a clear map of what they're doing you also get the social aspect so experience dealing with other people um, you know they're usually at the same point in their life that you are you make friends you can network with people work on projects maybe find jobs and opportunities together or just learn together so with college you also get a, a well-rounded education meaning you have many types of classes not just computer science and programming um, you may have psychology you may have different types of literature classes things like that and there is a negative aspect to that and I'll talk about that in the drawbacks but it does expand your overall knowledge into new areas um, that may even help you in your career okay and they'll help you in your just in your general life and then the last benefit is the biggest in my eyes and that's that piece of paper that's that degree it makes you more employable because there's still some companies that require a degree to hire people which I completely disagree with and I think it's crazy because most self-taught developers are very very passionate and driven and they're, they're, they just have just such a high interest in what they're doing that they're, they become excellent developers and that, that could be just my opinion but um, I think that it's something that companies should definitely value. All right, so college drawbacks. Many colleges have shit for developer and CS programs. I'm not saying all colleges, I'm not even saying most, but a lot of them do, whether it's a two year, four year school. A lot of the programs are outdated. Um, a lot of them are just theory based, they're not very practical. They give you like a bare minimum of computer science, and um, I don't think that they fully prepare you for the workplace. Okay, high debt is obvious. A huge drawback and you know you, you leave with tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt that plagues you for years or possibly your whole life the cost of college is just it, it's disgusting um, and I know that there's a lot of people that push for free college I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about that for different reasons um, I'm not gonna get into politics but uh, I definitely think that it should come down astronomically um, all right so wasted time what I mean by that is the downside to the well-rounded education that I was talking about well-rounded is good you know to, to learn psychology and literature and all that stuff it is it's a positive thing but is it worth taking away from learning react native or C sharp or Python or something like that something that you're going to be using every day in your career my opinion is no it's not worth it but in, other people may may you know think differently and that's absolutely fine so this last one is the one that really, really gets to me. It's, you know, many people that leave are still not ready for the industry. So people that spend four years or, or even more than that, spend thousands and thousands of dollars, they graduate and, you know, that's a huge accomplishment. And then they get out and they still can't get a job. Um, and a lot of the times they're, they're, not, they're not ready. After all that time, they're still not ready because they didn't teach them the correct things that they need to know to actually work in this industry, you know, to get a job at Google or Amazon or even a much smaller company. They didn't teach them that stuff. And that, that just pisses me off. Um, so that's a, a huge drawback. And I know that it seems like I'm bashing college and I know that they're all they're not all equal. Some are better than others. Um, you know, I'm sure many of you have gone to a good college and had a great experience uh, and have a better life and career because of it. So, you know, I'm not someone that thinks I know everything. I'm just sharing my own thoughts, experiences and, and research. Um, so please, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. 
All right, so that's college. Now let's look at boot camps, okay? So I personally have never attended a boot camp, but I've heard from many people, I've heard many stories um, of people that have gotten great jobs after graduating a boot camp. Uh, if I didn't believe in boot camps, I wouldn't be sponsored by one. Dev Mountain actually sponsors this channel. And, um, you know, there's I've heard a lot of great stories from there. And I'm not just saying that because they're my sponsor. But what I like about boot camps is how super focused they are on the correct things that a developer needs to learn. And they almost mimic what the industry is is doing and i shouldn't say that i shouldn't say all of them because there are some really shitty boot camps just like there's some really shitty colleges but if you go to the right ones they really teach you what you need to know now obviously boot camps are much cheaper than college because they're, it's much less time you go to college for you know whether it's two years four years more than that uh, boot camps are usually just a few months and they strip out all the crap that you don't need to know and just teach you what you need also, um, there's different types of boot camps. Some of them you can go away and live there, and then some of them are local, and you can just go to daily or maybe a couple times a week and so on. So the price really varies, uh, but it's definitely always going to be cheaper than college. So you get to uh, network and experience working with others. So you're around other coders all day, people that are, most people that go to boot camps are very driven. Um, you can, you know, pair up with people and share knowledge and you get that, that social experience, that team experience that you're going to have at a real company. So that, that is just invaluable. So let's take a look at some drawbacks. I don't have a, a ton of drawbacks for boot camps, at least as a, in a general sense. I'm sure there's some really shitty ones out there that aren't worth it. But as a whole, I think that they're a really good thing. Um, the money, of course, but, you know, it's it's still going to be cheaper than, than college. Um, and the money, like I said, varies. Time away from homework and family. So this is for some boot camps. This is for the ones where you go away. And those seem like the ones to me that would be the most fun to actually have that like dorm setting and be around a bunch of people that are driven to, to want to code and want to learn. I think that would be really, really fun. But not everyone can do that, including myself, obviously. I mean, I have a family. I have a full-time job. I, I couldn't do that, even though I would I would love to. So that can be a drawback. But, but again, you have boot camps that are local that you can, you know, you don't have to go and sleep there and live there. So you don't always learn what you want. I guess that's kind of a drawback, but of course you can supplement it with self-teaching and, and, you know, if you want to add to you, to your boot, boot camp curriculum, you can do that as well. And I know that with some boot camps, they have different programs. Like if you want to learn, you know, Python or if you, you know, machine learning, if you want to learn um, iOS development or full stack JavaScript, whatever it may be, there's different programs. So let's talk about some of the self-taught benefits, okay? This is my area. This is how I've, I've learned everything that I know. And I will say one thing in, in, before we even start this, and that's that self-taught is not for everybody. It definitely isn't. There's a lot of, of drawbacks, and I'll talk about those in a second. Um, but some of the benefits are you, you learn exactly what you want. You tailor your education and curriculum to fit your personality, what you want to do in life. You learn the languages you want, the frameworks, whatever else. You do exactly the way that, that you want to do it and what you're interested in. Okay, you also get to tailor your schedule. You learn on your terms. So if you have a family or a part-time job, full-time job, you can create your own learning hours. You can also spend as much or as little time as you need. So you may go to a boot camp and feel like you're not getting enough from it. Or you may go to a boot camp and feel like it's overwhelming, it's too much, or you're not ready because you, you don't usually go to a boot camp knowing nothing. You usually have at least a little background in coding. Um, so, you know, when you're, when you're self-taught, it doesn't matter. You can start wherever you want. Um, so cost is a, is a huge one. Obviously, it's, it's not quite free unless you just watch YouTube videos and read documentation, but I would definitely invest in some Udemy courses. If you don't like Udemy, you have Pluralsight, uh, Udacity. Uh, there's, t there's tons of um, uh, learning resources online. You also have platforms like Free Code Camp, Code Academy, and these can also be very helpful. Uh, but I don't care how many online courses you take, it's not going to equate to anything near formal education. So the last one, it might be a little controversial. It's more of my own opinion. I just believe that um, 
being self-taught, it creates more passion. And I also believe that all successful self-taught developers are very passionate and driven. Um, not that college students can't be, of course they can, but there are many that just skate through, just you know, do the work that's thrown at them, and that's they, they really just care about getting that degree. But it takes a certain level of passion and drive and ambition to be self-taught and be successful. Okay, successful is the key word there. Anyone can try and be self-taught, but to actually do it and learn what you need to to get a good job, that, that takes a, a special kind of person. So some of the drawbacks, um, like I said, there's actually a lot of drawbacks to being self-taught unless you're a certain type of person. You have to be someone that has discipline and drive. It's definitely uh, not for everyone. So some people desperately need the structure of college or a boot camp to kind of stay on track and become successful. They need someone constantly telling them what they need to do. When you're self-taught, it's all up to you. So um, I think it's I actually think it's the hardest route, but it's also very beneficial. Lack of networking and, and socializing. Many self-taught developers learn on their own and they don't get that social experience that you would get at a boot camp or at college. And that's actually a very important skill to have when you're working on a team uh, at a company. So I think this is one of the biggest drawbacks to being self-taught. So you have less people to ask for help. If you're, if you're at a college or at a boot camp, you have other students, you have instructors that can help you if you're stuck. Being self-taught, you really only have the internet unless you have some friends that can help you. Um, and you know it can take days to figure something out, asking questions on Stack Overflow, going through all the wise-ass troll comments and trying to find a solution. When you go to a boot camp or a college, you have an in-the-flesh instructor and other students that can help you in probably just minutes. Um, so you spend a lot of time on like uh, you know debugging and errors and stuff when you're self-taught. So the last one kind of goes with the first. You need to create your own learning structure and curriculum. Not everyone can do this. It takes a lot of research to even figure out what you're supposed to learn. Um, so basically, you need to learn how to learn. And this is something that's very difficult. So again, this is not it's not for everyone. All right, so there's no clear answer for everyone. It depends on your, your ambition and interests, your ability to manage yourself, your time, how much money you have, and just a whole bunch of other things. And I mean, if you want my advice, if, if I were 18 right now and I wanted to be a developer, I'd probably do a mix of finding a, a, a good boot camp and self-learning or self-teaching. I'd immerse myself in the boot camp and supplement it with you know, Traversy Media courses and YouTube videos. No, I'm kidding. Just any anybody that resonates with you, whether that's me, whether that's, you know, Steven Grinder, Colt Steel, uh, Maximilian, any of those guys, they all have a lot of different courses in a lot of different areas, and they're great instructors. So I would just find a couple people that you really, uh, that, that you find easy to follow. All right, so just put some real thought into it. You know, if, if you're actually making this decision, like if you're watching this and because you searched for it and you're trying to make this decision, don't just go by one person's video, mine or anyone else's. Do a ton of research. Look at other people's experiences and what they did and how they ended up after uh, and just apply that to your own life. All right, so that's all I got, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully it helps some people out. And that's it. Thanks for watching.